Good morning, friends. This is Victor Alpha 3, Bravo Hotel Yankee, on another video. This time, it is an upgrade to my small backyard random wire antenna, which I installed a few weeks ago. I made this update because of the changes I made on the antenna systems. The changes are, I drilled a hole to my basement and routed an RG8X cable to my shack, reducing the feed line from 75 feet to 25 feet, which I hope will result in a better performance. I also added a lightning arrester in a grounding rod to have some protection against electrical surges and or spikes. So let us begin. In this photo, I hammered down a wood stake post into the ground to serve as a mounting support. I then attached a 1 inch by 4 inches pressure treated fence board using deck screws. I attached my homemade 9 to 1 on on and 1 to 1 balen onto the fence board. Next, I made a short patch cord with PL259 at each end. This patch cord is to connect the lightning arrester to my transformer. The next step, I drove a 4 feet copper grounding rod near the fence board. Then ran a grounding wire from the lightning arrester to the ground rod. The last step was to connect my RG8X coax feed to the lightning arrester. The RG8X coax line was routed into the basement through a small hole. And that hole was sealed from the weather elements by an outdoor cock. As a good practice, I made sure that the RG8X cable was shaped like the letter U to prevent water from entering my basement walls through that hole I made earlier. Here's the video of my 71 feet random wire antenna system. Starting from the ground rod, moving up to the lightning arrester, then to the transformers. You can see I used a 2 by 2 inches by 8 feet pressure treated lumber to elevate the antenna element from the ground. At the top of this wood, I installed a carabiner to guide the wire to the other side of the fence. For you who are wondering what kind of wire I am using, I'm using a number 22 gauge speaker wire. I rested the middle part of the wire to the top of the gazebo. Then I took the gazebo canvas roof off because fall and winter season is coming soon. Let's talk about the counterpoise element. We start from the transformer box, then to the side wing connector that I designated as the ground terminal. I connected a 71 feet 22 gauge speaker wire to this ground terminal. I then stapled the wire to the fence and ran it downwards. More staples were applied along the baseboard of the fence to avoid sagging. This continues all along the fence until the end of this 71 feet counterpoise. Standing now in the middle of the garden, you can see how I ran the speaker wire from one side to the other side of the fence. I routed the cable on top of the gazebo for additional support. The wire continues to the other side of the fence. A carabiner was used to route the remaining cable along the top of the fence and applying staples to reduce sagging. Here are the Nano VNA SWR test results of this random wire antenna. I placed some markers on the frequencies I usually operate on a daily basis. I also checked my HF radios 
my G90 and my Yaesu FT710 and their internal ATUs can tune any antenna from 2.5 SWR or lower. Based on these results, as you can see, this multiband random wire antenna meets my daily needs. And finally, let's look at this PSK report. This antenna made it possible for me to receive and to be heard on 14 different countries in the last 24 hours. This is Victor Alpha 3, Bravo Hotel Yankee, signing off, sending 73 to all my viewers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.